Lesson 27 is a continuation of the articles from August 2002 about the uh, resurgence of Argentina due to the uh, barter systems there from Liberation magazine in France, which I translated into English. So, continuing from Liberation Magazine at liberation.fr, an article on the 22nd of August, 2002, a new life for barterers, truckers they call them in Latin. They were without um, employment, thanks to the credito, they have found a business. Hmm. So, thanks to barter, I got my auto repaired, I could keep up my lifestyle and avoid depression, says Mercedes, 60 years old, the Buenos Aires correspondent. Fanny, 52 years old, pale complexion, looking tired, was professor of languages. She hasn't had a job in the past four years, other than a few particular courses. On Sunday afternoons, she offers lessons in a public place of Buenos Aires, the Naranja Plaza, one of the barter clubs in the suburb of Palermo Viejo, uh, founded by the humanist movement. Like all truckers, Fanny would like for the exchange to be direct. Courses. On the table behind which she's seated, she has a small sign. I give English and Italian lessons. I need a radio, fruit, vegetables, and shoes. But the person who wants the English lessons doesn't necessarily have a radio, nor fruit, nor vegetables. So Fanny's course also has a price. Twelve creditos. The barter money used to facilitate the exchange of products. Today, explains Fanny, 80% of my resources are traded through the truck clubs. Like many, I do the rounds of barter fairs in the capital all all week. Entire families have gone into business manufacturing shirts, meals, crafts, or to offer their savoir-faire because everything gets exchanged. Food, clothing, books, diverse goods and services, painting, plumbing, electrical, medical care, taxi rides, etc. Courses of all kinds from astrology to yoga. In Cordoba, one man offered himself as an old Gordini, whatever that means. In Patagonia, they barter nights in a hotel for vacations against regional products. In Buenos Aires, certain train lines accept half the fare in creditos. And of course, in Calgary, the Calgary transit system accepts Calgary dollars. So it works everywhere, you're just not being told about it. So, father of two young children, Osmar, lives in the south suburb of Buenos Aires in Florencio Varela. It used to install telephones. He sold ices. He was unemployed since last year. In his home garden, there are pines and fruit trees. The other day, I cut 10 20-kilo sacks of dried wood, and I reaped five 1.5-kilo bags of mandarins. I went down to the barter club. The coordinator explained how it worked. Normally, one credit is worth half a peso, but it varies from one area to the other. You have to fix a just price, that of the formal marketplace. I sold everything in an hour, and with the creditos that I'd earned, I bought clothes for the kids. Warms the heart, doesn't it? Products. Mercedes, 60 years old, uses, used to employ 11 people as a baby clothing manufacturer who failed. In the past three years, we can find her on Saturdays at Notre Dame de Balvanera, a church at the center of Buenos Aires where the Congreso One Nodo branch functions, which belongs to the Solidarity Truck Network. Thanks to truck, I got some artwork. I got my car repaired. I was able to keep up my lifestyle and avoid depression. Some come from the countryside to barter in the capital. Cassiana, 54 years old, lives in the south of Argentina at Bariloche. Once a month, she comes to Buenos Aires with products from her region. Rosa Mosqueda, a fruit that looks like a currant but can be used for infusions, trout, boar, rabbit. Here I come to sell things that the people in Buenos Aires don't find easily. This represents 50% of my budget. The rest, it's my trade as a baker. So, another article from uh, Liberation, Money That Doesn't Lose Anything to Change, by Florent Latrive, again, August 22nd, 2002. In the long term, the word truck, often used with respect to Argentina, seduces by its archaic side that evokes direct exchange of one ham for a haircut. But we must not make that mistake. The credito used to organize this barter on a grand scale is before all a real currency, as real as the euro or the dollar. Private money, parallel, alternative, whatever the name. Well, community currency, local currency, alternative currency, whatever hours, in the image of more and more experiments undertaken all over the world over the past 15 years, 
Yeah, since the Lex software was unleashed on the world in 1984, from Toulouse to Australia, passing through England. Each time the principle is the same. A community, more or less extended geographically, creates its own unit of account to exchange outside the classical mercantile circuit, with its central bank, its taxes, and its monetary circulation. The best known example is that of the LETS, Local Employment Trading System, a model born in Vancouver, Canada in 1983. And I'm proud to say that of all the barter softwares I could have picked to support and finance, I picked Michael Linton's LET system and sent him the money to make it work, and he made it work and unleashed it on the world, and now it's the best known model in the world. In France, the first appeared in 1994. Today, the City Day of Site 1 shows more than 300 with more than 25,000 members. That of Angers, for example, uses the Ardois as an accounting unit. The association manages the debits and credits between members on the basis of the time it takes for each activity. One hour of plumbing is worth 60 Ardois that can be spent as 20 minutes for a haircut and 40 minutes for a lesson of other members. And that's the point. Just because you are charging in an hour doesn't mean you, you are spending it at an hour doesn't mean you can't earn it at two. So the basic wage is that of unskilled child labor. A kid who can do your job instead of you having to do that unskilled job should get that much money, a one hour bill, and everybody is rated accordingly. Erosion of money. The emergence of these currencies is often associated with a crisis situation. That's right, because as soon as there's no crisis, the people get back on the loan sharking ship because they all want their interest. Why take this no interest stuff when they can get interest money again? Even though that ship keeps sinking and they have to get back on the, on the, on the uh, lifeboats that never sink, never dawns on them to stay on the lifeboats when the big one comes along and offers them some interest. So, violent in general, like in Argentina, where more disguised like in Europe and North America since the 1980s, the period when the first lets started to multiply. In most of these crises situations, we observe an erosion of the power of money, explains economist Jean-Michel Servet, coordinator of a book on the subject. There is therefore the need to establish private instruments protecting the purchasing power until communities invent accounting and payment instruments that could suit their needs. Jeez, all they got to do is invent their own poker chips for their own communities, but they're all too stupid. <laughs> Thus, in England, the Let's local exchange trading system saw their strongest development in the poorer quarters of Manchester and Liverpool, with the goal of stoking economic activity and exchanges in areas where pauperization is such that the pound has disappeared. Well, shutting the banks makes the money disappear too, you know. Sometimes some enterprises even accept to join the network. In Manchester, there's the case of a pub that serves pints on certain evenings in exchange for local money. The managers of the pub will later spend it paying other members of Let's who come to do the cleaning of the dishes. Ta-da! Money's money, whether it's local or federal, right? In these kinds of exchanges, the political dimension is always present. The British utopian Robert Owen had proposed local currencies in the first half of the 19th century, but of course he made the goof of all of these guys in making every hour equal. So the guy who walks the dog gets the same hour as the doctor. Well, guess what? Not too many doctors in your system, right? You got to be able to charge more hours per hour for rarer and more beneficial skills. Too bad. And just like the many promoters of alternative currencies today, he saw in it a lever for changing society. Well, of course it is. Saving society. Today, the credito and its cousins, by serving as the basis for the creation, ex nihilo, from nothing, of another economic system, become a concrete tool of experimentation for those who oppose capitalism. I don't oppose capitalism, even though I launched Let's on the world. I oppose monopoly capitalism. Okay? Capitalism isn't all good. Communism isn't all bad. There is a perfect blend of the two when everybody gets to be a capitalist. And that only happens when everybody's got credit at the bank because credit's based not on your gold or your stuff, but also your time. And everybody's got time and everybody's due some credit at the bank. So, monopoly capitalism is the bad stuff. Usury monopolizes the capital in the hands of the survivors. Slavery capitalism, not the common capitalism of Lex, where everybody gets to be a capitalist, not just those born with money.